Hello everyone, this is Swarip Pramani and welcome to another Think Tank episode. So today we're going to discuss about a new concept, new concept that could take you to next level if you're an entrepreneur, professional or somebody who's a startup freelancer. And you might have heard this term before, it's called emotional intelligence. But let's see the background. So far, the world was racing towards intellectual intelligence, which is which used to be called as IQ in 2009 and 10, right? This concept was developed in the early 90s by two psychologists who studied successful personalities, how kids turn out to be successful. And you've always heard about things like cognitive development, motor skills, especially those mother who are focused about developing their child to next level. But these have been terms also for professionals and entrepreneurs, there were, there have been tests we all have been bought and raised through where you used to fight for high IQ scores to get admissions in good universities, colleges, scholarships. But those days have gone now because intelligence was more related to cognitive, your memorization power, your ability to perform your skill set. Now, post 2020 COVID, the research has given a totally dramatic sh shift in IQ. And that's why you see bigger fortune 500 companies or startup investors or investees, they try to evaluate your EQ, which is emotional intelligence. So how are both different? IQ is intellect, memorization power, how skilled you are. Let's say you're a robotic engineer, how good you know robotic. If you're a machine learning scientist, how good you are with machine learning. If you're a teacher, how good you are with your subject, science, engineering, technology, maths. Whereas emotional now involves another subject because those days have gone where if you cannot memorize, you have a lot of reference points like YouTube, Wikipedias, science is working on metaverse glasses. You have seen Facebook, Oculus, those kinds of things are coming. So those kinds of memorization things have gone. Today's kid might not even need to learn anything. Those codings which needs memorization, those days will be gone in some times because now computational bots are automizing programming language. So world is going towards another set where the intellect which was yesterday will no longer be there. So what will be there? Emotional intelligence. So if we see the definition, the definition says that emotional intelligence is the ability to regulate one's emotion and understands how to utilize it to the best performance. Now, this best performance could be in terms of relationship management. This best performance could be in terms of your managing your employee if you're a startup. This best performance could be something, let's say somebody got COVID, got loss in the family, the psychology got distorted. Now you are recouping them back so that your good employee who have lost the psychological power or psychological damage now can get back to workspace so and this involved a lot of people management skills which was no in correlation to iq why because now you need to talk to people you don't need to understand people you don't need to see your team management you need to be a good listener whereas on the intellectual side you are focusing in a race of how I can be better than others, but now you have to handhold others, take them with you so that your team performs better. That's why you have seen there was a time where EQ was only related to CEOs in the company. Now this has trickled down to directors, manager. So if you're a small business entrepreneur, you need to have good EQ. If you're a freelancer, you need to have good EQ. If you're a startup, you need to have good EQ. So there are three ranges. Overall, in 2022, there are EQ tests done, which I'm sure is a new buzzword, but many people take that test and it's on a range of 27 to 108. And those who score below or equal to 47 are someone with good high EQ. That's a good number. Somebody who is more than 47 on a scale of 108 are somebody. So 47 and 58 is an average EQ person and above 58 is something, somebody with a poor EQ. So this EQ has really changed the world. And if you are somebody who's trying to develop something big, you should be now somebody who should be a good listener, a relationship person. So try to talk and spend time more with your team, your client, understand the emotions, because the world is going through a lot of recession, stress management, depression, anxiety. And if you are a good listener, your EQ suddenly gets up. 
and you can always hire somebody or outsource it. So IQ days are gone, EQ days are there. I hope this helps you. Farid Namani with Think Tank signing off. Take care.